Hey, what are you doing here? Corporal. What? Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, Corporal. I'll see you. St. John, Port Morale, St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit over there. <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What? Hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. Sorry, sorry what, are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers working on the. <laughs> St. John, Fort Morale, St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit. <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What? Hey, hey, what, what the what the hell you, you got? they got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry what, are you, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out of the shit. Finding supplies for the officers working on... Oh, shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on uh, bio-weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground, all right? Yeah. Taylor, I gotta go. Alright, alright, hey, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Corporal.
got your ears on, man. Hey. Taylor, what do you need? Hey, okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so... Words out in the camp that drugs are making their way in, right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. But do you know anything about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor. So no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't either. I'm just... I saw this guy in one of the newer recruits acting all suspicious. He writes in it. And out of camp all the time. And so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, God damn it. Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey. Let him handle it. You got that? St. John, Corporal St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, this is the Taylor. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. Just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What? Hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? Huh? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry. What, are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on wood. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks to the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look. Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right, hey, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know. Uh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit. Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. Corporal, good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Oh, sure, yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently. Like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Well, uh, take a look around. I, I, I got all kinds of bike parts, if, if you got credits. Corporal, stay safe out there. Corporal. I got the gate. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The feds were whining babies, suckling at the teeth of us taxpayers. And dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. You gotta know the chief muckety mucks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. They didn't save the hungry. Their precious constituents. You know the real reason they're in power. They save the elite, the men and women who play ball. This. Ah! 
Okay. Okay. Captain Corey, I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. All right, Anderson, let's go take care of business. No, he's gotta be here somewhere. Where the hell is he? What do we got? Oh shit, wolves. Something under this. Okay, let's take a look around. Always need scrap. Oh, God, is that Anderson? Nothing dragon? Well, how the hell am I gonna get my bounty? Dead coyote lava cave. Well, nothing bad can happen with a name like that, yeah? Huh, murdering drifter camp. I've uh, seen these assholes before, and I gotta take them out. Right on target. There we go. Oh, I've gotta find another way into that cave. Primarily infect mammals, 
Lab cultures have shown that it can also infect birds, reptiles, this is Radio Free even Oregon. insects. The truth. Do you know how many mammals free. there are in the world? It has come to my attention. I'm guessing. That yes. some of you are out there A working lot. with Nero. Five thousand. We're very same, exactly. We saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. Cats, rabbits, mm, dogs, too good a day, cold, tight as shit, spoiler for me. Wolves can be infected and can spread the virus. Jesus. Yes. 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 He could top out at 60, and he could chew the tire off a motorcycle while doing it. What it means for us, Corporal, is that we should be glad that most mammals are going extinct. Better them than us. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, better them than us. <laughs> This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. So, are these people fools? But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly, but I am a reasonable man. So you get one warning. Listen up. Stop what you're doing. Now. Before we fight. This is 
Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. But I am a reasonable man. So you get one warning. Listen up. Stop what you're doing. Now. Before we find you. Cause we will. And when we do, you will pay. I'll personally string you up on the biggest tree I find. And while you're breathing your last, we'll quarter you and feed you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, well, Cope, I gotta say, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> there you <are>. mm. <laughs> Boundaries. <laughs> this is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. Yep. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. But... I am a reasonable man. So you get one warning. Listen up. Stop what you're doing. Now. Before we find you. Cause we will. And when we do, you will pay. I'll personally string you up on the biggest tree I find. And while you're breathing your last, we'll quarter you and feed you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. <laughs>
This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. Yeah, Coach, not today. Not in the mood for your truth or bullshit. This is Radio it has Free come to my attention. The truth shall say some you of free. you are out there working with Nero. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Coke, 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 shut the hell up.
free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take traitors. But I am a So you get one warning. Listen up. Stop what you're doing. Now. Before we find you. Cause we will. And when we do, you will pay. I'll personally string you up on the biggest tree I find. And while you're breathing your last, we'll quarter you and feed you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, well, Cope, I gotta say I don't like it any more than you. Do your worst. Under here. I can always use this. A lot of ammo left.
squeeze through here. You still got your militia armband. Just gotta, just gotta go back and turn this in.
Hey, keep the Corey's unit. Shit, open the gate. Howdy there, Corporal. New around here? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergie. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just got here. Well, Deacon St. John, you do your job, and we'll get along just fine. How's that? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Corporal, stay out of Let's work, people. Keep moving. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, Sergeant. Corporal, uh, One, two, what can I get? One. So, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. Y yeah, f f from Canada, originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, uh, w west of Crater Lake. The wife and kids, uh, my boys, would have been eight and nine this year. Canada, oh, you're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary, at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he uh, gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. Let's work, people. Keep moving. Let's see you, Corporal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep that bike close. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. That's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. St. John! <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor, uh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that. But I am. <laughs> God damn it. Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. 97? And hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight. <laughs> the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Um, but there is... Lieutenant Weaver, you there? The mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kits. You're gonna need one. An ore testing kit. Copy that. Uh, Cinnabar is kinda red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. It's gonna be hard to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. 
Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these uh, shacks. Ah, nothing in here. Fuel can. Huh. I need a testing kit. I don't need fuel. <laughs> Here we go. Or testing kit. Yeah. Say red rock, dull luster, cinnabar. Yeah, testing. All right. Let's see if this pump is working. Okay, let's test you out. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you'll do. Not enough. I need more ore. Here's some more. Mining pump. They must have had problems with flooding even back in the day. I just gotta get it, uh, well, turned on. Enough. Tunnels 
flooded. I got a use for you. Mining pump. They must have had problems with flooding even back in the day. I just gotta get it, uh, well, turned on. Samples is all I need. Here we go, Cinnabar. Okay, good. And now I just gotta test it. Just one more. Yeah. 
Here we go, Cinnabar. All right, let's see how pure this is. All right. Elevator shaft. Oh, God damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. Ah, what's up here? Another tunnel? Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Lieutenant Weaver, this is St. John. I've got the Cinnabar you asked for. St. John, good, good. I'm almost ready for it. I'm... Oh, hold on a second. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Weaver, I ran out of isopropyl alcohol. Do you have any? Yeah, I got a bottle of vodka back in my tent. Stop by later. Jesus, you never give up, do you? Don't be such a stranger. Fuck off. St. John. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, just drop off the hall as soon as you can. I got some more shit I need you to get. Weaver out. St. John! <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor, you're a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit trucking down the car track. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But I am. <laughs> God damn it. Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. 97? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight. The weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Uh, but there was this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor, out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. Oh, damn it. Beacon St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the Research Division? Captain, uh, Research Division, or, uh, yeah, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes. Here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitors Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I could find it. Good luck, Corporal. Curry out. Lieutenant. <laughs> nah, man. Leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Oh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. All right. Yeah. 
Okay, this is great. Hey, let's wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way, how did it go? With the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? Man, I thought you were gonna leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all, Cole. That'll be all.
Come on! Finally. Jesus. Visit. Visitor center. That's gotta be it. No, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, that's gotta be in the kitchen. Oh, shit. Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? Finally.
Deer in the bed. Visitor's Center. That's gotta be it. And now, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, that's gotta be in the kitchen. Oh, shit. Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? That did it. Yeast, yeast. Need that. Okay. Got you. Scrap. Okay. There we go.
St. John to uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Reporting in. Take it. Uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your record for the yeast. I'm sure that whatever you have is going to be fine. <laughs> What do you want? Nope. How long have we been standing here? Come on. You mind? Don't get in my way. Corporal. Hey, Sarge. New guy? Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. Oh, cool, man. Hey, listen, if you need something for your ride, <sighs> Corporal. Hey, D, I got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. Uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went down, 
I used to run this website called You Need Guns, I Got Guns.com. Oh, Jesus, holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a you had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Hey, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the country hitting up out of the way gun shows, flea markets, shit like that. Ah, I guess this is about as out of the way as it gets. I guess it isn't that, huh? Corporal, see you around. Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes, when my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, we're fine. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for staying. Yes, ma'am. No, no. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? Oh, St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's in order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. Well, I just want to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. You know, all these talks are informal. Enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. Oh, great. A commander who likes to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Hey, Doc. Uh... Come in. Sentence. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East L.A. patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. 
And this? No kind of wood stove did this. Hmm. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together, fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Taylor, haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in their friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! Oh. Taylor? Taylor! Oh, damn it. Dozens of new recruits have joined our ranks. We welcome you. We do not care about the color of your skin. We do not care what country you were born in. We do not care if you are a man or a woman. We do not care if you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. These are things beyond your control. These are things that God has ordained. And we accept them. What we do not accept are liars, right. thieves, yeah, yeah. Yeah. rapists, yeah. murderers, fornicators, adulterers, oath breakers, drug addicts, or criminals of any kind. From this life or the one before, yeah. Yeah. how you conduct yourself, how you act in the eyes of God, these are things that you do control. Any soldier or officer found guilty of any transgression no matter how small, will be brought here to this very scaffold and will be hanged by the neck until they are dead. This punishment may seem cruel to some of you, but you have my promise. Any punishment of ours is a great mercy compared to the punishment of God that is being unleashed on the world outside these walls. None of us is perfect. We do not expect perfection. What we do expect is obedience, order, and discipline. Give us these things, and we will win this war. Company dismissed. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Um, uh, hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Ah, uh, column chrom... what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just... it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, 
Got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate, anyway? leave, they're gonna make me give back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. I mean, really. <laughs> I'm bad. Okay. All right. Now I gotta get back to work. This yeast has already filled up like half a dozen petri dishes. Okay. Save me some of the viral proteins. I got an appetite out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down. I don't think he can hear us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on. Let's do it. Shut up. Ah! Can you hear that? <laughs> oh! Oh! Get him the fuck out of here. here. Come on. Uh, what do you think? Maybe we could turn this in at that army camp and get some credits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm coming, Taylor. Hang in there. Torture, do you? Who about this? That was a rock. Uh, fuck with my friend! Why do you like this? No. Son of a bitch. Uh, fuck with my friends! At last. Torture, do ya? Who about this?
Let's just gotta find a way in. Got it. Kill him! No, oh, man! No, no, it's... Do it! Do it! Please, man. Do it! Do it! Better do it! Oh, shit! Oh! How you doing, Taylor? Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this. Hold it against your head like that. Good. No, I want you to uh, wait here. I'm gonna go radio uh, Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, thank you. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder kind of just off of South Rim Drive. So, uh, what, what were you saying? Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, 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 um... I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man, Private Taylor. They fucking slice his ear off. Jesus, is he all right? Private Taylor? He's, yeah, he's gonna live, but no, no idea what he's doing out here. I need you to send Doc, uh, Captain... <laughs> He's... yeah, he's gonna live. L no, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send docu uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him know. Hurry up. Damn whore you've ever seen! Damn it! Move your asses! Come on! Move! You heard the call! 
very carefully. Get your men out of there. We are not ready to engage. Do you copy me? Yes, sir. You don't gotta tell me twice. Russell out. Come on, move it! Let's go! Pull it out! Let's go, go, go! Not bad, huh? How you doing, buddy? Like I said, man, I've, I've had better days. Uh, <laughs> hey, I think the bleeding stopped. Oh, no, no, it, it hasn't. Uh, okay. uh, help is on the way. You hang tight. Uh, you want me to come back? Wait with you? No, oh, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, really. I'll stop by the infirmary later. I'll see how you're doing. Hey, I've seen that thing. It's pretty cushy. Better than me down here, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it too. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. Huh? You got that? You can help. Some silicate. All right, fellas, how you getting inside? There we go. Should be able to climb up here. Down you go. Through it. Yeah. The mom and pop store. Oh, where the hell is the silicon? Oh, nope, nothing here. Here we go. 
go. Silicate. This will work. Okay, now I just gotta find a way out of here. Oh, somebody didn't know how to park. Ah, can I? Come on, bitch. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll just park this anywhere. Sarah, are you there? I've um, got the silicate you requested. Corporal St. John, yes, I'm here. I'm in a meeting with Lieutenant Weaver. Corporal St. John? What are you doing another run for me? Uh, I don't know. Um... Weaver. Corporal, report in to me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Fucking Weaver now. What the fuck is he doing? Hey, Doc, you there? This is Corporal St. John, the Doc Jimenez. Come back. Uh, St. John, how's the arm? Good, good. Uh, that ointment, or whatever it is that you gave me, it's some. Um, yeah, it's working great. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, so I'm actually just checking in to see, uh, well, to see how well you know Lieutenant Weaver. Lieutenant Weaver? I know him as well as I know any of the officers. Why? I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm doing some runs for them, for him and Lieutenant Whitaker, and it just, it seems like he's, um, I don't know, he's, he's in her face all the time, and, uh, I don't fucking like it. <laughs> Lieutenant Whitaker could take care of herself. Listen to me, St. John. The Colonel tolerates a certain amount of racing amongst the officers. If I were you, I'd stay out of it. All right, Doc. And don't worry about Lieutenant Weaver. He's no saint, but I've met worse. Him and his help. Corporal St. John. So, man, I gotta tell you something. Okay. I knew you from before. Well, not personally, you know, but... I'm from Farewell. Same as you. And me and my friends, we used to watch you guys around town. The, the mongrels, I mean. Riding those hogs, wearing your leathers. Man, we thought you guys were so badass. Right. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, man. Had a lot of free time on my hands. I, uh, I, um, had to drop out of high school, you know. Um, knocked up my girlfriend. <laughs> had to get a job. Hey, if you ever decide to, you know, start up an MC, mongrels, whatever, just count me in, okay? I'm down. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Sure, man. Yeah, no, just, just saying. Corporal, see you, man. Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? I get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What was that all about? <sighs> Nothing, it's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. Thank you. No, don't. What now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? I, That's what you think this is? I, I, Everything I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit? No! Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's gonna take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, 
I do need... I just... Thank... I appreciate your help. St. John, you there? Yeah, I'm here. This is Lieutenant Weaver. Have you even looked at my requisition form yet? I see you doing runs for the witch almost every day. I'm starting to feel left out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, sir. Polystyrene, you need polystyrene, right? Yeah, that's right, polystyrene. If you're having trouble finding it, there's a wrecked truck down on Highway 97, south of Shamo, beneath the water tower. Think you can find it? I'm not... Look, I'll find it, the wrecked truck, okay? I'll get you your, uh, polystyrene. See that you do. We've out. Many of you have been with me from the beginning. Listened to me when I warned about the coming of God's plague. Journeyed with me to this place. Helped me to build this ark. But whether you were with us from the beginning, or joined our ranks only today, you are now part of this great endeavor. You are now part of our mission to save mankind. I want to remind you, as you go forth beyond these walls to perform your duties, that we are still searching for material worthy of safekeeping within the Ark. We seek textbooks, manuals, encyclopedia, discs, and other media. Lieutenant Weaver has listed several books on chemistry that are needed. Lieutenant Whitaker has listed books on biochemistry, genetics, and biology that we are lacking. Captain Jimenez has listed books on medicine, anatomy, and surgical procedures that we need. Sergeant Tomlinson has listed books on highway construction, mechanical engineering. And Captain Hawkins is always looking for material related to agriculture and hydroponics. So, while you're out doing runs, keep an eye out for items like these. Do your part to help us fill the ark. Yeah, yeah. Company dismissed. Yeah, yeah.